Now, when we add or subtract, I'm a huge proponent of getting rid of the parentheses. If people say, what do you know about Mr. Plan? Almost everyone's like, he loves getting rid of parentheses when we're adding or subtracting polynomials. Common knowledge. So, when you are doing addition, the parentheses don't matter. So I would say just write it without parentheses. So 3x squared plus 7 plus x plus 14x to the third plus 2 plus x squared minus x. Now, when you are adding or subtracting these, you can only add or subtract if they have the exact same ending. They have to have the same variables and the same degrees on those. So like the highest exponent we see, hold on, that doesn't look like a plus sign. The highest degree is this 14x to the third. Now that is the only x to the third, so we'll just kick that to the front. 14x to the third. And then we can look for x squareds. So I have 3x squared uh, plus another x squared which is 1x squared, right? So 3x squared plus 1x squared would give us 4x squared. You don't change the exponent when you are adding or subtracting. Only when you multiply or divide do the exponents change. Then we look for our x to the first power. We have 1x uh, minus 1x. Those just cancel each other out. So you could write plus 0x, but that's unnecessary. So then we just go to the next part. Uh, we have 7, positive 7, plus 2, which is 9. There it is. And if you do it in that order, if you find it out in standard form, then when you rewrite it, it'll already be in standard form for you. That's it. Now, subtraction is a little dicier. Here's the Josh Plant recommendation with subtraction. Anything after the minus sign, anything in parentheses, you just make the opposite, right? It's kind of like we're distributing a negative 1 to everything. So the first parentheses, 1 minus x squared, nothing changes. But everything in the parentheses after that minus will become the opposite. So it will be negative 3x squared, negative 2x, and positive 5. Because remember, you are doing minus negative 5, which changes to plus 5. So if we look for our highest degree, we have the x squared. So we have negative 1 x squared minus 3 x squared. And negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4 x squared. Then we get our x's. All we have is this negative 2 x. Uh, and then our regular numbers, we have 1 plus 5 is 6. Make sure it's in standard form. Make sure you can't combine anything else. And then you're good to go. Now, you got to try these to get good at these. So let me move my face, make myself a little smaller here. Pause here and try these out. I'm going to work them out real quick and then check your answers.